so some of the language you said they have, they, you said they speak a different language. They're technically speaking yep. English, but they have their code words that they use. What are some of these code words that people should be on the lookout for? Oh, I'm so glad you asked this question. Okay, so people need to understand that the four goals of the far left are always and forever the same. Gain as much power as possible, destabilize the system, attack capitalism, usher in their Marxist utopia. So I want to go through those four real quick because it will explain the language game they're playing. The first thing they do is gain power. So they get themselves into institutional power positions through getting jobs as teachers, administrators, principals, superintendents, politicians, what have you, so that they can control the system. They use the power that they gain in order to destabilize the system. That means they cause problems. They cause problems that cause people pain in society, whether that be fiery but mostly pe peaceful protests or critical race theory in the classroom or whatever it is. Their fundamental goal is always and forever to create chaos, to destabilize everything that we have built American society on. Once they cause problems and destabilize things and people are feeling pain based on those problems, they say capitalism is to blame for all of this. That is your big problem. Capitalism is, has caused all of the racist problems in this country. It's caused all the gender problems in this country. It's caused all the inflation, all the inequality. So capitalism is the boogeyman. And then once they convince people that capitalism is the boogeyman, they say, how about Marxism? How about we try something new? And so that's what they're doing with every single tactic that they implement. So in terms of the language game that they're playing, anytime you hear the word whiteness, white supremacy, anti-racism, they are not talking about the color of your skin. They're talking about capitalism because they believe that capitalism is the underlying problem to what they call systemic racism in this country. Capitalism built systemic racism. Capitalism created slavery. And so they believe that people who are white are the bourgeois. They are the landowners, the private property owners. They they are the CEOs. Um, the number one goal of socialists is to abolish private property. And that means your house. They don't want you to own your house. They don't want you to have a kitchen. That then when Joe Biden wanted to get rid of our stoves. That's actually a real socialist thing that they're trying to get rid of private kitchens. They don't want you to have a car. They don't want you to have a business. And spoiler, spoiler alert, um, your children are considered private property too. And they don't want that to, to exist either. So that's a that's a different thing we should pick up on in a second. But whiteness always means capitalism. This is why we see headlines in the Washington Post about multiracial whiteness. This is why the Los Angeles Times called Larry Elder the black face of white supremacy. It's not about skin color at all. So that's a trick that they play very, very often that people need to be aware of.